past life total bull or is it what to find out so in this video i wanted to talk about past life regression why i like it so much i didn't like it before i didn't believe in it before so <laughs> i can tell you my story really quick and also my three theories that i believe uh, in all of them so there are different so it doesn't matter whether you're spiritual or not spiritual whether you believe in science or you believe uh, you know in divine power uh, i'll find a solution for you so it works for everyone so watch to find out what it is so let me tell you a quick story i'm a hypnotherapist so when i came to hypnosis school and they offered some classes and certification in past life regression i was like nah that's not for me i i'm not sure if i believe in reincarnation i'm not sure if i believe in past lives maybe it's just my mind's imagination so i'm not interested in it so you know a few months later and a few experiences later the funny part is now i love past life regression <laughs> i love doing it myself i love uh, you know experiences with clients as well guiding clients so it's such a fun experience you never know what's gonna come out in your imagination in your mind and you see pictures and you experience completely different life so it's like a movie in your head and you're you know you can be man or a woman you can experience different like some people even experience life from different planets so it, you never know what's gonna come out you never know what's gonna come out and that's why it's so exciting because you're like whoa and then it gives you insight in your life in your relationship so you also get something from it as well uh, but i wanted to get into you know i'm gonna do another video on benefits and why i think past life regression is amazing <laughs> you guys can feel really excited but i wanted to do this video about three tips theories theories of past life regression and you know those are the theories that i give to my clients those are the theories that i believe in and i believe in all three of them so you know it doesn't have to be either or you can believe in one or you can believe in all of them no you don't believe it all it doesn't really matter so hear me out and then you can decide for yourself right or leave a comment below which one you like which one you don't like whether you agree disagree what's your past life regression experience I'm really excited to see your experiences as well and if you're this excited as well as I am about past life regression. So let's start with number one and the number one most known, you know, theory is a spiritual theory, of course. So uh, there is a soul and this soul has a lot of reincarnation. Thus, we have a bunch of past lives where we experience different lives. Uh, in different bodies and different you know maybe time frames right so uh, there are multiple lives that we live in so that's what the spiritual theory believes that's what reincarnation believes in right so that one is pretty cool so if you believe in it that's very awesome you know it gives you a lot of insight the spirituality as well it like it provides you a lot of benefit if you don't believe in different in, that, in other religion you can no, you can discover spirituality and for me it was a beautiful path so even though when i started i didn't believe in it <laughs> eventually i got into it <laughs> now i'm more spiritual than than before before the past life so i guess past life kind of play its role but it's not for everyone so some people do believe and some people don't and it doesn't matter so it's okay if you don't believe so if you don't believe in spirituality if you don't believe in re reincarnation right it doesn't mean that you shouldn't try past life regression. It doesn't mean that it's not for you. It doesn't mean that past life regression only for spiritual people or people who believe in reincarnation. So, and that's where I get into theory number two. And theory number two is a genetic theory. So that's where science comes into place. So for you, for my science people out there, <laughs> that's the one for you, I guess. So there has been a study uh, that's been done on mice and what they did, what was actually terrible, but I guess it helps us to understand the genetics and everything. So what they did in this study, they... Um, there were female mice right so what they did they exposed them to cherry blossom and when they exposed them to cherry blossom smell um, they gave mice those mice 
uh, electric shocks. So every time they smell cherry blossom, they receive the electric shocks. So and that's how their body, you know, remembers. So after a few times they receive, you know, electric shock. Even later, when they, you know, eventually when they expose them to smell again, those mice, you know, start start feeling, start acting very anxious, very fearful, you know, very stressed out because, you know, our subconscious, you know, and, you know, animal subconscious also remembers, right? So it's a pattern. It became a pattern where they smell it and they become fearful because they fear that there's going to be electric shock that will affect them, right? So uh, what happened next, and that's the most interesting part of the study, even though mice have suffered and uh, I really love animals, so it's very tough <laughs> to you know to read this study but uh what happened next is they bred them with you know with other you know male mice so those female mice and they you know they the babies were born so after the babies were born the interesting part was is that the babies even though they were never exposed to electric shock but they still uh, felt very fearful they still felt very stressed out every time they were exposed to cherry blossom smell so that's weird right like that's very strange because you know it's the mother right that experience that experience it's the mother that uh, you know narrow pathways connecting you know the electric shock and connecting cherry blossoms but in this situation it's it's a little baby it's a little mice that never had that experience but they still react the same way as a mother so they made this connection linking that uh, you know, genetic markers can go from generation to generation, right? And that it creates certain experience, a memory, genetic memory, where, you know, you know, offspring remembers kind of subconsciously, not subconsciously, but genetically, right? Reaction, genetic reaction to a certain memory, to a certain traumatic memory that uh, potentially is dangerous for the also they will be. They also noticed, which was very interesting, that these little mice were born with more neurons in their nose that detect cherry blossoms. So, you know, related to cherry blossoms. So you gotta guys read the study because it's amazing. It just describes how, you know, the gene works. And before we thought that, you know, you can pass the gene, gene memory into offspring. But right now we feel we're getting into the point where we're discovering more and more and more. So it's just so amazing the way it works right but my theory after i've read this <laughs> and you know that's uh, that's my theory so i didn't read it anywhere that's what i came up with myself after i read this article uh, relating to past life is that there is a possibility that your ancestors experienced certain traumatic events and after it you know was moved into generations to generations so let's say maybe a person has a fear of water right they just you know they're terrified of water they don't like water they are very scared of water so it's more like a phobia and you know they tried everything to resolve it they tried to discover they tried therapy they tried whatever it is and it doesn't help they're just you know it doesn't make sense this fear and nothing ever happened to them when they were a baby nothing ever so there is no you know logical explanation that's what many people come to past life because sometimes they get to the point where they tried everything there's no logical explanation why it's happening so that's why they come like can i check my past life maybe it's there right i don't know what else to try <laughs> so there there is a possibility uh, that you know the ancestors experienced a certain very traumatic event or maybe they experienced in the few the generations right so they experienced like you know one ancestor and the next generation experienced it where maybe someone drowned in the water right tragically and then you know someone else drowned in the water tragically and then this you know genetic memory started passing down to new generations and then this person is born and they're fearful of water even though it might be a genetic memory again there are no studies about it i it's totally my own theory <laughs> it just makes sense logically for me so if it works for you as well i mean that's cool if it doesn't it doesn't but for me it kind of makes sense why not right if it works in mice if it works with certain smells and it works with certain events right the genetic memory can work the same in humans so 
uh, and that's uh, you know people sometimes experience sometimes generation they experience the same problems the same issues right and just pass down pass down so maybe that's the way it is maybe that's the genetic memory passing down you know from one to another and the last one that anyone can believe in and that's the theory number three is it's all in your head and let me tell you something it's 100% true, it's all in your head. <laughs> and that's not a bad thing. <laughs> because, I mean, guys, really, everything comes from our head. Everything comes from our brain processing life around us. Everything comes from here. So when people tell you it's in your head, that is 100% true and there's nothing wrong with it because that's the way it is. Yes, it's in your head and something is going on in the head, so it doesn't matter. So what matters is what's going on here and whether it works for you or not, right? So when uh, when it comes to third theory, when people come and they're like, well, I'm not sure if I'm imagining, if, you know, if I'm coming up with it, if my brain just imagining stuff, or is it my real past life or it's not, I say it doesn't matter, you know? Because you came for an experience and then you came and you're looking at your past life, you're experiencing yourself like maybe you were a queen or maybe you were a warrior, right? Or maybe you were something else. So for you, you've never been that before. It's like internal movie that you're watching, that you experience with all your senses, right? That leads you and you know, you're not gonna, you don't know what's gonna lead you. So why not imagination? Why not just enjoy it and experience it? Why we have to question everything? And I mean, our brain is designed in a way that it questions everything. It tries to find a logical solution. <laughs> it tries like, is it real past life or it's not real? Am I imagining them? I'm not imagining. And I say it doesn't matter. As soon as you enjoy this experience, as soon as you get some benefits, and I'm gonna do another video on benefits. I mean, that's cool, right? That's why first time i've tried uh you know past life regression and i'm like okay i'm gonna try it and see what's gonna happen and i saw myself as a warrior and you know i, I have an army behind me and i'm like with the sword and i'm like this you know buff dude on the horse <laughs> it was so much fun it was it was so interesting it was a different experience i was like why am i a guy right why my brain showed me this am i imagining well, why not? Maybe I should experience it and get some benefits from it. Maybe, you know, I can become stronger in this life or maybe I'll get an insight what is happening in my life and what I should resolve, right? So a lot of people, when they are done with past life, they have some thoughts and they have some revelations that they can bring in this life and, you know, see where a problem is coming from. Or maybe um, they kind of... So basically, the way I can explain it is no matter what you believe in, whether it's your imagination, whether it's a scientific way, where it's a spiritual way, right? The point is, does it help you to get a certain experience or certain resolution in your problem or you're getting just excited or an interesting experience, right? So is it beneficial for you? And I say yes, <laughs> because it was... So beneficial for me and I've done it for multiple people and they love it as well. They've gained so much insight. Like uh, what this uh, one guy, he was a king and then before he had very low self-esteem and now he's like, no, he started believing in himself because in past life he was a king and he had this experience where he felt himself as a king, where he was this royal person that held self-esteem and that he was strong and he was powerful. So when you experience it with your all senses, you kind of bring that in your life. You get that experience, that positive, right? So you gain some skills, you gain some knowledge, you gain some something that you never had before that gives you power to discover who you are to be better or maybe you the same result with water right someone comes and they fearful of water so when they go into past life and they discard okay i drowned in my past life right the brain is resolving the issue the brain is linking like okay so you know i'm fearful of water i don't know how to resolve it but here in past life I had this issue, I drowned, that's why I'm fearful of water, so it wasn't past life, that's 
I shouldn't fear water here and it resolves, right? So <laughs> it's amazing. So no matter what you believe in, whether it's imagination or not imagination, you know, it helped that person to resolve that issue. And that's the end point or to get a fun experience. So a lot of people that do past life regression, um, they don't fear death anymore. So that's another benefit. Of, so I guess I'm starting to do all the benefits on this. <laughs> but all I'm saying, it doesn't matter what it is you believe in, you still can get insight and have a fun experience just doing it, you know, opening yourself up to a new experience and, you know, seeing yourself, seeing a really cool, interesting movie that you don't know where it's gonna take you in your head and experiences with all your senses and having fun. So why not? So stop thinking, you know, turn off your critical mind that always like, no, 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 I don't know if you believe in it, I don't know if it's real, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, if you really want it, if you really feel like doing it, do it, you know, experience something new, do something fun. And if you don't, don't do it. So it's up to you guys. You gotta listen to yourself, you gotta listen to your intuition and say whether it's for me or not, because it's not for some people. Some people don't like it, some people don't believe in it, some people like, I don't want to do it. Sure. I mean, you got to do what's best for you. You got to listen to yourself. You know yourself. So if you don't want to do it, don't do it. If you're kind of curious about it, if you're excited, try it. Why not? So it's really fun. And, you know, <laughs> as a non-believer and like, ah, I don't think I'm going to like it. I become this person where like, oh, I love it so much. It's so much fun. The stories I hear all the time are so different. Like, like I, I should be writing them down because you can make so many movies out of those stories. <laughs> That's why I'm so passionate, I'm so excited and I hope you liked my theories. So if you do or if you kind of, you know, agree with one of those theories or with all of them, because I believe in all of them. I don't know, sometimes people think like, okay, if you believe in spirituality, like maybe you know it, it doesn't have to be mutually exclusive it can be you can believe in all of them or you can come up with your theory so maybe let us know in the comments what is your theory about past life regression maybe you have something interesting to say and we can learn from you as well so share your experiences share your comments uh, if you've done past life share your experiences as well and i'm so excited to guys to see here and i'm so excited to share my experiences as well so i hope it helps and i'll see you in the next video